Well, hello guys. Today we are going to take this Cattleya seedling, uh, Cattleya, let's see, can you see it? Cattleya P.O.T. Montana Spirit Big Sky. I'm going to take her out of here. She's got a new growth coming. She's got roots all over the pot. As you can see, um, she's doing really well. She's a mono, monofoliate um, cat layer, and I understand they're not as picky as when you repot them, but even if we lose some of these roots, this one here, this new growth here, if you can see, will um, produce the new roots to take place. But she's just drying out a lot faster. I know cat layer is like a, a fast wet dry cycle, but she's, I feel like she's going to run out of this pot. And I just, I want to try the clay pot. Um, I keep seeing Rogers of Cattleyas, and I'm like, oh my God, those are so pretty. I want to try the clay pot. So I got one. I got this piece of bark. I handpicked out of my big bark and just to put it at the, the bottom there for the hole. I'll use that here in a few. I've already sanitized it. So, and then I've got my saucer there. So let's get started and see what's going on and as you can see, she's got, I mean, she's growing her roots out of the pot, so I'm sure there's going to be some root damage. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and cut those off now because I know they're going to break anyway. Well, maybe not that one. That one I might be able to, no, I'm not going to be able to thread it through. Let's just take her off and show her new ones because they, they are branching. It is a branching root system, so that's good. All right. Just loosen this because I literally watered her yesterday and she's dry today. So and she's really she's a continuous grower, so it's not one where you only get one new growth a year. So that is good. So maybe she'll I'll get bloom sooner rather than later. Um, I'm sure she's still a couple of years off of it, but because she is a continuous grower, at least I don't have to wait a hundred years before. Where is she stuck? Oh, I see. Okay, so we've got roots. Okay, there we go. All right. And rub it off, just kind of what comes off as I'm going through. Because she has only been in this bark maybe six months. So it's not that the bark has gone off. It's just she is going to probably be a big girl. And I want to give her the space to grow without continuing. You know, always having to just up pot her and mess with her roots and mess and just unsettled her so let's get all these off of here that we can like I said if the root is really stuck I'm just gonna leave it I'm not gonna force anything off and then I'll check what check all the roots and like this one here broke when I was taking it out so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off and uh, she'll grow another one no big deal she's got plenty of them so it's not like I have to be picky um, with root growth and these all feel really good actually Got one here that can come off, um, but overall, they're all really good roots. Got a couple here with the string on them, but they look like they're from the older growth. Um, yeah, uh, she looks pretty decent. Awesome. All right. Notice I like the word awesome. The strings from when I just did all that, that uh, kind of got ripped through. I'm just going to cut the string off and encourage some more new growth it'll be all right like i said you can tell she's got a branching root system on here so that's good um let's see that yeah, we'll cut that back as well okay. all right that's all i'm going to take off because everything else like some of these roots are actually grown into um the bark so i'm just going to leave it leave it leave it leave it where it is all right so, just move that off to the side. All right, so we are going to put her in her pot here. So, most of her old growth is back here. Um, this one and this one are the last two, and then she's working on this one. So, I'm expecting all of her new growth to come from, let's see, from this area here. So, I'm going to pull all these smaller leaves to the back so that she has this entire pot to fill up and with her being a continuous grower I expect her to gr fill this up fairly quickly so I do have my mix here it's just all of this is just large bark there's no small bark just 
whatever's in there is in the large bark box is what I'm putting in. So we'll put some at the bottom first. And get that out. Okay. And check the height. And I'm just gonna spread the roots out just a little bit so that they have space to grow. And then we will just let's see, let me move this to the side and spread those back a little bit. And then this way I can just get her a little closer to the back. And then we'll just start filling in. Like I said, I didn't, I don't need to clean her off or anything like that. The bark that I've left on has been on there maybe six months, um, give or take, but not enough where it's gone over and I need to take everything out. She'll be fine. Um, and like I said, a lot of those roots have grown into the bark, so I don't want to insist on pulling it out. Um, and I've got my wire ready just in case, but I think she's going to end up being able to sit in here on her own without me having to secure her in as soon as I get all these raw, um, in between down here at the bottom. All right. Let's turn her around just a wee bit here. There we go. Okay. I know this pot looks really big, but I'm not gonna water the whole pot until she gets bigger. I'll just water the area that she's in. This way she still gets that quick wet dry cycle with the clay pot. And then of course, as she grows, she'll get more water. But for now, I'm gonna try to get all of the roots in there because all the roots were um, in the media, except for of course this one aerial root that is still sticking out here in the back. So, and she's a little wobbly, but not too wobbly. And I'm not going to be moving her a whole lot anyway, so I think I'm going to opt out of securing her in this pot. I'm not going to um, wire her in or anything like that. I'm just going to leave her the way she is. Put a couple of pieces of bark right in here. Okay, and we'll put some more here. Oh, and here's a nice big one here. I'll just drop back in there. There we go. Uh, let's see where can we'll put it right here. Kind of help hold that down. All right, and there she is, guys. I will put today's date on it, and then we will watch this new growth. And obviously, I'll watch her. If she starts going downhill, I'll put her back in a smaller pot. But I think she'll be all right. Um, like I said, I expect all of the new growth to come from this area here, just because of the way that she's been growing. Um, these back here are her older leaves. And then this growth, and then this right here is her latest growth, this one here. And then she's got this new growth coming up here. So we will get, I will just put a little bit of water in here, just kind of spray her off a little bit, just to kind of um, let that settle. And then we will find out what happens in the next few weeks. All right, everybody have a great day. And remember, if you liked the video and you got something out of it, please give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Let me know why. Um, what doesn't bother me any I appreciate any constructive feedback and if you can go ahead and subscribe it's free for you it doesn't cost you anything it'll just help me out and if you find that someone else can benefit from it just go ahead and share it with a friend